The scripture reading this morning is from John 1, verses 1 through 9 from the Common English Bible. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the word was life, and the life was a light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't distinguish the light. A man named John was sent from God. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him everyone would believe in the light. He himself wasn't the light, but his mission was to testify concerning the light. The true light that shines on all people was coming into the world. Thanks, Jim. So here it is, here it is at last. What we have been desperately waiting for, what we have been anxiously waiting for in all our crossness and irritability, or is that just me? Anybody else? Hmm. In our sadness and our anxiety, anybody else? In our desire to just not get up or crawl back into bed after we've gotten up, or maybe our frustration or our desire to throw something in the house, a pillow, a plate. Anybody else had these frustrations? Oh, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. We have been waiting for good news that our dreary days are ending, that our sorrows over all the deaths will finally be comforted, that our desperate loneliness will not continue forever. Oh, was I speaking about the pandemic? Maybe. But maybe I wasn't speaking merely about the pandemic. What about all that soul sickness that is among us? What about the loneliness and the sorrow, the tenacious evil that haunts us and that clings to humanity? Where is the light that can drive it away? Where is the life that heals all the death dealing in our world. The prologue to the Gospel of John says, here it is. Here it is. At last. At last. From the promises of the prophet Isaiah and then through the glorious theological poetry of the prologue. This is the answer we have been needing. This is the answer for our world. Here it comes, the breath of God that blows over that primordial chaos that speaks all things into being. The word that says, and each and everything comes into being. The word that says, be. That word of power, that word of transcendent beauty. This that has created worlds 
and wonders, from ants to aardvarks, from dinosaurs to Saturn's rings, this word that allows us to gather through Zoom technology, this life-giving word. Make no mistake, we hear. Life and light has come. Isaiah promised it. John the Baptist was the herald of it. Countless saints through the ages have lived lives of faith filled with hope in that life and that light. It comes to us when we most need it comes with the absolute assurance that nothing is destroyed, nothing is wasted, all is well. Science, physics, tells us that all of creation, in all of creation, nothing is wasted, nothing is destroyed. All is mystery, and I would say all is beauty and endless potentiality. This is what the Gospel of John says. Everything came into being through the word, and without the word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the word was life. And the life was the light of all people. To me, the scripture proclaims, have no fear. Rest in me. All shall be well. Here it is at last. In spite of all our worries and fears, in spite of it all, from the ugly pandemic to the ugly politics, to the ugly racism and the ugly evils that plague us all, we have this answer. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not extinguish the light. The word is life for all people, and the light shines in the darkness. It is not extinguished. Elsewhere in scripture, both Hebrew scriptures and the letter of John, we hear there is no darkness in God. Night is as bright as day. So, you and I, we can take a deep breath, let out a deep We can let a smile tilt up our cheeks and we can slow down our heart rate, loosen our neck and shoulders because, because the word is come. The word is life. We do not need to despair. The word that causes all things to be is with you and me right now. Life is in you and me right now. Light is shining on you and me right now. And that light sings to your soul and sings, be, be. The 
This doesn't mean that we won't see sorrow, sickness, suffering, or death. We may well continue to be crabby. You and I still may want to throw a pillow or a plate once in a while. But we know who is with us. We know who is in us and the light is upon us. We know to whom we belong. As Paul wrote in the 14th chapter in his letter to the church in Rome, he said, whether we live or whether we die, we belong to Christ who is Lord of both the living and the dead. The true light, the true light that shines on all people as written in the gospel's prologue, that true light shines on us all. It allows us to breathe deep and to loosen our shoulders, to loosen our loads of worry, to lift our faces to the sky and behold. See that we are bathed in the eternal light and love of God. And it sings to you and it sings to me. And it says, be. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we sing? <laughs>